Hello everyone and welcome back to my talk show, Let's Talk Dirty. It is your boy Dirty Bird and I just want to thank you all for joining me and my new talk show because it has been a tremendous success so far and I'm just so excited to be sharing this moment with you all that interact and really help me get my talk show out there. So I just want to thank you. So I'm um, moving things right along. Um, today's episode is going to be about healing. And the reason why I chose this topic is because um, yesterday's episode was based on relationships, but I feel that today should be based on healing. And the reason why is because, once again, I got an anonymous message from someone on Facebook, and I'm just so excited because, like I said, the interaction is starting to really, really pick up with this talk show. And um, so healing is going to be the subject because um, the person has sent to me... um, that they've been in love sort of with their best friend, sort of a similar situation to the previous one, but um, they've been in love since the, age of, since the age of 14 to 21, and they've just gone through a breakup. And um, this person really feels that the guy that's broken up with her, um, you know, is not talking to her and seems very distant and this person really really seems hurt and heartbroken and feels that she misses her best friend because yet they may not be together you know um both hearts are probably going through some serious you know hurt right now on both sides so um like i said this person she feels that She does want her best friend back, but she also wants to move on with her life also at the same time if things can't work out. And um, it seems like, you know, they've been together for a long time now and it is time to finally move on and sail ships. And I am sorry to say so, but I have been in a relationship myself where, you know, I've been in a relationship for seven years and at seven years I finally moved on you know and it took all that time to finally realize that um but like I said um I decided to close all doors just to you know give me all peace of mind and you know just help me keep moving forward instead of looking back but you know obviously if you can make friends with this person by all means you know if you want to go for it but I really feel that you should use this time and opportunity to find someone else and I mean even though you may have been engaged, but you know, everything happens for a reason. And if it got called off something so, you know, special like that, maybe that's just a wake up sign for you. And um, please don't take this personally, but maybe you're just not ready yet. And I know that a lot of us are young and, you know, we are looking for love, but sometimes maybe we just need to, you know, um, season ourselves a little bit more so that if we are in a relationship, you know, you don't have to go through one arguing and screaming and, you know, just going through a negative relationship. And that's what happens because, you know, you do want love and then sometimes you jump into a relationship and then, you know, you wind up hurting yourself in the long run. So like I say, you know, please please, please just take this time and really, you know, think about what you want. If you do want a relationship, you know, go out, find, you know, someone else, you know, interact. And, you know, if it is meant to be and if you guys do come back together, you know, I'm not ruling that out, but really enjoy this time, you know, enjoy yourself, enjoy your life, you know, don't mean to go out and sleep with everybody. I'm not saying that, but, you know, find someone, you know, that you really, really connect with. And I mean, you know, this is an opportunity for you because you aren't stuck. And like I said, you know, to find a good relationship is not easy. And I really, you know, admire people that are here that have been in relationships for quite some time because I do know the work that, you know, it does take. But, you know, um, you will get over these feelings, you know, and like I said, it's it's up to you. If you want to sit there and cry, please, I'll bring over the box of Kleenex. But, like I said, please just get out there, have fun, live life, you know, we, like I keep stressing, you know, we never, never, ever, ever know. So don't waste your time, you know, worrying about someone if they don't want to talk to you. Like, that's their decision. Like, I mean, as long as you're not in the wrong and if you say sorry and, you know, you have text or let the person know that, you know, hey, let's be friends and I and they just 
they just want to ignore you, let that be on them. Like I said, it's your life and it's time for all of us to be happy. And I can't stress this enough during the show because um, I know my own personal experiences. I have wasted a lot of time in my life that I cannot get back. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but as I look back, you know, with a clear head on my shoulders, it's like, wow, all that time I could have used to be doing something even more productive. You know, I like I said, I do wake up every day trying, but that was so much time. So please, people, like, you know, make sure that you are happy. You're getting all the things that you want, you know, in a relationship, out of work. You know, just get the full, you know, just get the full package of life, as I would say. Just get the full package of life, and that's health, happiness, you know, regardless of what you're going through, just, you know, you can get through anything. So, never beat yourself up, and like I say, we all just need to try a little bit harder. So, I just want to thank you for, once again, you know, commenting to the show, and, you know, I hope this show did help you in some type of way. And like I said, um, I was never married or ever engaged or anything like that, but I have gone through a serious relationship, and I'm currently in one, and I do know the work that is required. So, like I said, if you're not in one, get out there, meet someone with the good qualities that you know that you are looking for in a person and hopefully things will work out for you so like i said once again thank you very much and for all everyone else out there you know please send the comments the questions you know anything jokes anything that you just want to put on this talk show that we can get it out there for everyone worldwide wherever you are you know not just north america but all the other continents out there too because people do have cellular devices and iPads and you know tablets and computers and all that stuff so there is no excuse the dirty bird brand is traveling worldwide and I just want to get engagement and you know interaction from everyone so please don't be afraid to buzz in and tune into the show and once again thank you for joining today's episode and peace